Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today we're talking about Mac OS 11. Mac OS 11 Big Sur has been released on its first beta, bringing a total redesign to Mac OS and of course, a ton of new features and changes. So in this video, I will show you guys the top 15 new features and changes of Mac OS 11. Starting things off with the redesign. Once you have Mac OS 11 on your Mac, you will notice that everything has been redesigned. It's a totally new look, more modern and of course much much cleaner than the old one. You will notice everything like from the lighter windows to the translucent look and of course the redesigned sheets. Not just that, Apple has also redesigned the system symbols. You can notice right there on the menu bar the all new symbols and of course the back buttons and all that stuff has been redesigned as well. But not just things that you can see, even things that you can hear. All the system sounds have changed with Mac OS 11. Apple has brought all new system sounds to Mac OS 11 of course to go along with the new look. With Mac OS 11 you will also get a new control center. Right there on the menu bar you tap that button and you will get your toggles of the control center. Everything from the Wi-Fi to the Bluetooth to the display and sound sliders everything is in here and you can tap on any one of them to expand it and see more details regarding any one of the settings that you need to know something about. Now you can also drag these and place any one of these toggles on the menu bar. You simply tap on it, drag it and you can just release it right there on the menu bar and then you can access it directly from there without having to go to the control center at all. There is also a redesign of course on the menu of the Wi-Fi so if you go to Wi-Fi you can see a much nicer menu here you will have this button which looks like the ones on the iPhone to enable and disable your Wi-Fi and then at the Wi-Fi here you will have these buttons which allow you to quickly change from the Wi-Fi networks. Now you will only see your pre preferred networks and you will have a list of other networks right here which are hidden. Also the Bluetooth menu right here has been redesigned as well so if we go here you will see basically the same look here, the switch right there and of course your devices and you can switch between any one of them directly from here. Going to the sound you will also see a redesigned menu right here and it also will show you your AirPods. So if you're using your AirPods it will show you right here the AirPods battery percentage as well as the case's battery percentage and you can switch the output from here from your Mac speakers to your AirPods directly from the sound menu. With Mac OS 11 you will also get a redesigned notification center. The notification center can be invoked simply by tapping the clock right there at the corner. Now you will see at the top now we have group notifications on Mac OS 11. Lower here you will find the widgets which also have been redesigned. They look just like the ones on the iPhone. Now if you want to go ahead and edit these you tap right there and from here you will be able to customize your widgets. Now you can see here we have widgets that have different options. So we have small, medium and large. So you can choose which style you want to add to the widgets panel and just go ahead tap the plus button or just drag them and basically release them anywhere you want on the notification center. Just like that you can add new widgets to the notification center on Mac OS 11. Another thing you will notice right away once you install Mac OS 11 on your Mac are the new redesigned icons. They look just like the ones on the iPhone. We have these like squared icons that we have on the iPhone and they are all the same size and of course the same shape. So this is new with Mac OS 11. Of course we have a redesigned dock as well. The translucent look and all around rounded corners. And now handoff is on the right side of the dock. It used to be right here on the left. Now the handoff icon will be on the right of the dock. And of course we got two new wallpapers. So this is the wallpaper that I have set right now and we have of course the dark mode of this wallpaper and we have another one here which also has the dark version of it and totally there are four new wallpapers with Mac OS 11. And if you go to your settings on Mac OS 11 and go to the battery section you will notice that now Mac OS 11 has optimized battery charging and you can enable it from here. And also we have usage history so if you go right there you will see the usage history of the battery of your Mac for the last 24 hours and of course for the last 10 days. 
A big change has happened on the Safari app. Once you open Safari, you can see the start page is totally different. You will see your favorites here, then you have the frequently visited websites, which also now show a preview, and then you will have the privacy report right here underneath the frequently visited websites. Now you can customize the start page of your Safari with Mac OS 11. You just tap right here on the corner and you will have the option to remove stuff and add stuff to the start page on Safari, as well as change the background of the start page that you can pick between these wallpapers right here and you can also choose any one of your pictures and set it as a wallpaper for the start page on Safari. A huge new feature on Safari is translation. Now you can translate websites directly from Safari. So you will have here this button that allows you to translate any website you want. So you just tap right there and you go ahead and enable translation and now Safari will be able to translate any web page that you want. And we also have new tabs. Tabs have been totally redesigned on Safari with Mac OS 11. So you will get this button right here to add a new tab. You will have this button here to see all of your tabs. So directly from there, go zoom out to your tabs. And of course you will have new icons at the tabs right here, which are new with Mac OS 11. And if you want to preview a tab, all you have to do so while I'm on this website, all I have to do is just basically put the cursor right there and it will show me a preview of the new tab. With Safari on Mac OS 11, you will also get a privacy report here for any website you're in or for all the websites at the start page on Safari. And also Safari's performance has been boosted and now Apple says that Safari is 50% faster than Google Chrome. Another new feature that has to do with Safari can be found on the App Store, on the Mac App Store. Now we have a new category, Safari Extensions. So if you want to install extension for your Safari app, then you can have now a new category on the Mac App Store to quickly find anyone you want. Now, most of the apps on Mac OS 11 have been updated with a new sidebar. It looks much, much better. And of course, you will get even more information right there. Not just the sidebar, you will also get a toolbar on most of the apps on Mac OS 11. At the top of the app, you will get this toolbar that allows you to like rearrange stuff and do stuff much, much quicker directly from the toolbar on any of the apps on Mac OS 11. New features have been added to the Photos app as well. Now, when you open a photo, you tap on Edit, you can now add captions to your photos. You tap the I button and you will have here the option to add a caption. Now, when you go to adjust your photos, you go ahead and add like a filter, something like that. You will have the ability to basically go ahead and adjust the intensity of that filter. So you have the slider right here to adjust the intensity of the filter. Now adjustment filters and cropping have also been added to the video editing section. So if you have a video here on the photos app, you will now have the ability to crop it and of course add filters. There are new features on the iMessage app as well. So at the top now you will find a search bar where you can search for your conversations and then you can also pin any one of your conversations. You can pin up to nine conversations simply by swiping from the left to the right as easy as that. Now, if you go ahead and tap on the App Store button right there, you will get a new interface for picking up photos. Also, you can search for images and also gifts directly from here as easy as that. This is a new feature with Mac OS 11 and also you will be able to send different message effects directly from iMessage on Mac OS 11. The notes have also been redesigned with Mac OS 11. You will see a much nicer and cleaner interface right here on the notes app. When you're searching for notes, you will see top hits first. So if I search here for test, it will show the top hits right there, which is really, really cool. And of course, very useful. You will also have quick text styles right here. Just tap the A buttons right there. You will have different text styles to choose from directly from here for the notes app. Going to the voice memos, you will see right now, if you tap right there, you will have your favorites and your recordings right here. And then you will also have your folders right there. So you can create new folders for the voice memos directly from here. And of course, have your favorites in one folder. It also features like smart folders, which basically will create folders automatically and categorize your voice recordings. 
And last but not least, on the music app, there is a new listen now section when you open the music app, of course, if you use Apple Music on your Mac with Mac OS 11. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is Mac OS 11 Big Sure, a total redesign and a ton of new features and changes. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Mac videos, and I will see you on the next one.